David, the girls will be home soon. Stop fussing with the soup. Jake, please. Now it's only soup. I'll fix it a little. Then it'll be soup. Don't make such a masterpiece. When my Molly and your Dora and our Rosie get home, they'll be tired and hungry. They won't notice the artistic touches. Uh, it's not every day a mother goes shopping for furniture with a future daughter-in-law. Dora isn't buying, Pa. She's only looking. When it comes to women, Sammy, looking is the same as buying. What they don't get today, they'll remember to buy tomorrow. Let them buy. Let them enjoy themselves. This is the day your mama lived for. You and Molly are lucky parents to have Sammy and Dora settle themselves with a good job right here in Haverville. Hey. Hmm? A little salt. Ah, David, there couldn't be a happier man than me. These are the pleasures a man lives for and hopes for. To be surrounded by our children at the twilight of our years. That's pretty strong talk for a young man. It's not twilight yet. <laughs> oh, come. Here they are, the ladies. <laughs> Jay, oh, hello. 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 Unbelievable. We saw the whole living room. No, Dora, darling? We saw green carpet, raw loan will be wall to wall. Dora saw white, but green is more sensible, darling. And then we saw chintz. Chintz glazed. Glazed chintz, Jake, darling. I'm telling you, roses and cabbages. Oh, yeah, I loved it. And family, darling, then we looked at, at chairs. Modern. All modern, because Dora liked the modern. The, the, the legs was very straight, and the back was straight. It didn't look very comfy, but listen, after all, am I going to live in your house? Listen, Jake, darling, let them buy what they want to buy. But Dora, darling, Dora, darling, think very well. Think very well of that, of, of that table. I don't think you're going to be satisfied. I think the table that I saw, Dora, darling. Well, I was darling, thinking that I... But, sweetheart, you have to be a little a little practical, darling. So forget that table and forget also the drapes. Dora Ma. wanted stripe, but you know, Ma. you get very tired of stripe, Ma. darling. We'll look at them tomorrow. Wonderful. And, and Dora, darling, don't forget to show Sammy the lamp. Oh, we saw lamps because Sammy likes light in all the rooms. We saw a lamp, family, with branches. They call it a branch lamp. Ma, it's a tree lamp. Tree lamp? No, so not be a tree lamp, but it was beautiful. Jake, darling. Is that going to be beautiful? Is that place going to be like a magazine, only prettier? Because I saw already in my mind how I'm going to fix it. Uh, Molly, supper's ready. Yeah. If you ladies here care to get fresh and wash up. The three butlers will say. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks for making supper, David. <laughs> See, darling, look. you see this color brown of the gravy? That's the brown the drape should be. Because that brown with the beige on the couch and the green broadloom, don't ask. Dora liked the white rug, Ma. But white gets dirty so fast. We'll have it clean, Ma. Listen, cleaning costs money, family. And with a pitter patter of little feet coming and going, how long will white stay white? Well, well of course, it's up to you and Dora. I wouldn't mix. Uh, second helping anybody? We spend on cleaning the rug, Ma. We'll always save with the washing machine. Oh, but a washing machine's a big investment, family, dear. Not if we buy it on the installment plan. Installment plan? Listen, <laughs> I know Papa and me never bought anything unless we had the money to pay for it. Sammy, don't start living above your means. Listen, Ma, most everybody in this country lives above their means, and everybody enjoys it. Well, the washing machine would save Dora a lot of work, and it's worth it. Listen, if it's so easy to buy a washing machine that way, then it'll be easy to buy everything else that way. And you'll be paying, and you'll be paying. Molly, Sammy and Dora know what they want. They know what they can afford. Times have changed, Ma. Sammy and Dora are only doing what every other young couple is doing. I'm just saying, darling, that they shouldn't burden themselves with unnecessary burdens. We'll think about it, Ma. All right. I'm just talking out of experience, that's all. So, darling, I'll bring the next, should be. Molly, yeah. why don't you let the children decide for themselves? Why do you have to interfere? I interfere? Maybe they don't want a green rug wall to wall. Maybe they want something else. Jake, what did I do? I gave a little advice. All right. After all, experience should have a voice. 
Ma, please, why don't you stop giving advice? I gave advice. I was there. I heard you. If they want advice, they'll ask. I don't think Dora liked that lamp at all. She didn't like it. How could you not like That's it? That's exactly what I mean. All right, Rosalie, please go inside and clear, please. I'm a member of this family, too, Ma. I have a right to speak. Rosalie, your mother spoke. Wrong, she's not. All right, so what did I do, sir? I gave a little advice. All right. So I wouldn't give advice. We went shopping, we looked, we saw, and, and I tried to help. Molly, take my advice. Don't say and don't volunteer. Whatever mistakes they'll make, let them make. Can't be a tragedy. All right. So I'll be silent. Where's Sam and Dora? Upstairs. Upstairs? Don't go up, Ma. She's crying. Crying? Learn a lesson, Molly, dear. You can't put your head on their shoulders. What did I say? Did Molly, when my mother gave us advice, did you like it? I know exactly how Dora feels, and I oh, say... your opinions, I'm well acquainted with it. Children grow into people, and if they're people, they have opinions which they're entitled to. This, have opinions. What did I say? What did I say that was so terrible, I said? Dora, I'm sorry if I said something. I mean, whatever I said to you, I would have said to Rosalie, too, so... so excuse me. That's all right, Ma. I know how you feel. <laughs> Sit down, darling. We'll, we'll have dessert. Clean off the table. Ma? Yes? I'm not going to take that job here in Haverville. Why not, Sam? Just because I said... Uh... No, Ma. We just think that... Haverville's a little too close to home. Self-teaching. Molly, you can't undo what's done. That's all you have to say? You don't mind that Sammy won't be living in Haverville? <laughs> what do you think? It would have been my pleasure and joy. But I can understand the way they feel. I drove my children away. Molly, you didn't drive. I did. All right, Molly, you did. I did. Whatever you want it to be, let it be. The fact remains that Sammy and Dora are starting their life elsewhere, whatever the reason. So resign yourself. Good night. Good night. Are you sleeping? Oh. I can't say that I'm not pleased at the way things are turning out. Haverville is no place for a girl like Dora. Nothing wrong with Haverville. A nice little town. Well, it's not good for a young bride to have her mother-in-law living too close for comfort. Dora's just a little touchy. So are you, Carrie, remember? I'd rather not remember, if you don't mind. My mother was crazy about you, Carrie, and you know it. She had an odd way of showing it. I was an only child. Well, so is Dora. But you can be sure that I won't be a mother-in-law. Mother, may I come in? Oh, yes, of course. Sammy has some wonderful news. Come inside. Well, what is it? I want Sammy to tell you. Come on, Dad. Mm. Oh. They're coming. You could have told him in the morning, Dora. Oh, it's not very late. Do you think it's too late to call your folks and tell them? Will you talk with my mother? <laughs> of course I will. Sammy, I don't want you to think that I'm angry at your mother. You're the two people I love most in the world, Dora. It'd be a pretty unhappy situation if you two didn't hit it off. We will. Well, this must be pretty well-shaking news to get us up out of bed. Tell them, Sammy. Well, it's just that I've been offered a pretty nice job with a New York engineering firm. New York? Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, Thank that you. means you'll be living in New York. Oh, I'm so happy. The very best of you, Sammy. Thank you. Oh, Thank darling. You. Sammy, does your mother know? No, not yet. Well, then call her up and tell oh. her. Oh, Dora. Dora, I can't believe it. Aberville 4861, please. Darling, you know, there's a brand new apartment building that's just opened up. And it's only two blocks from here. Oh, it's this hour of the p.m. Hello? Yes, Hamley, what happened? 
Yeah? Oh, I have news for me. Huh? Yeah. All right, why not? Well, Dora to tell me. Yeah. Hello? Hello, Dora? Yes. Uh-huh. Wonderful. Dora, let me talk to Molly. Hello, dear. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Here, Sammy. Bye, Ma. Well, Sammy, your mother seemed as pleased as punch. And now, Dora, the first thing you have to do is go over and look at those rooms. They're simply out of this world. Of course, uh, the rentals are high. How high? I didn't ask, but they're not cheap. You see, they have a doorman. Now, I don't want my Dora moving into an old and ugly building. A bride should have everything shiny and new. Start right. That's what my mother always used to say. Uh, Carrie, I think... Jerome, this is not your department. Oh, darling, what fun we're going to have furnishing that apartment. Look, Mother, Dora, we thought that... please, not modern. It's ugly. Now, there's nothing like Regency or early American for comfort. It's kind of late, Carrie. Tomorrow's another day. Come on. Sammy, Dora, you won't have a thing to think about. And I expect you for dinner here at least four nights a week. You can afford higher rental. Your food bills will cost you practically nothing. Good night. Good night. Good night, darling. Good night. Good, good night. night. Come along. Oh, I'm so happy I'm walking in sunshine. Are you coming? Sammy? If you say that you don't want to take that job in New York... Dora, I say so. If we have to go to the ends of the earth for a job, that's what we'll have to do. Baby, I love you for those words. All I want to know is why. Why did Sammy suddenly decide not to take the job in New York? Why? Because he wanted to investigate a few other possibilities. But he said the job in New York was so wonderful and meant... Why? I didn't ask. Whatever Sammy wants to do is all right with me. A man should make up his own mind about these things. That's the attitude, Dora. I don't know where you got it from, but it didn't come from your mother. Oh, why don't you go and shave? Molly will be here any minute. And stop being funny. Do you know what it would have meant to me to have Dora living where I could see her every day? A bride needs her mother. And I had everything all planned in my mind. Maybe that's why Sammy changed his mind. Jerome, are you her father or not? I... I'm going to shave. Jerome! Mother, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I told Sammy not to take that job in New York. You told him? Why? For the same reason we didn't want to live in Haverville. We don't want people planning our lives. I don't want to come here four nights a week. I don't want that expensive apartment with a doorman. We want to do things our own way, right or wrong. Mm. All my sacrifice for what? <laughs> oh, Mother, if that's Mrs. Goldberg, please stop crying. I don't have to hide my tears from Molly. <laughs> Oh, darling. How are you, sweetheart? Right. Good. Come in, Carrie? Oh, Mother. Who's she? Oh, Molly. Why do we have children? Why? Oh, oh Ma. What's happened, darling? She's upset because we won't live in New York. All right. Let's meet her. Carrie, what happened? Molly. Sammy isn't taking the job in New York. <laughs> I know. Called me this morning to tell me for the same reason he didn't take the job in Haverford. Would I interfere in their lives? Carrie, darling, but we consider it right. They consider interfering. I had to learn the hard way, too. But we've lived longer. We, we've had more experience. Carrie, darling, dry your eyes. If we don't want to lose our children, we have to be very smart, you and I. I'm older and wiser than you in this matter by one little week. I found them such a beautiful apartment. Let them find their own apartment. Let them go where they want to go. We have to be actresses, 
Callie. It's not easy. <laughs> Don't I know that? I guess I just have to cut the silver cord. <laughs> cut it? We'll have to melt the silver cord without tears. <laughs> Hi, Dora. How are you? Hello, Sam Lee. Hi, Uncle David. How are you? Hello, Sammy. Hello, Mr. Barnett. Thank you for the flowers, Sammy. Not at all. Very thoughtful. I hope it won't wear off. <laughs> oh, now, don't spoil all my illusions. <laughs> Hello, Sammy. Hi, Ma. Hello, oh, Mrs. Barnett. Hello, Sammy. Hi, Sit down, everybody. Make yourselves comfortable. Thank you. Sammy. Uh, Dora tells me you had a few appointments today. Oh, you get a kick out of this, Dora. I was offered a job today at the College Placement Bureau. Wonderful, Sammy. Uh, where? What's the difference? Where? In the Belgian Congo. Isn't that great? Hmm? Belgian Congo? Gorillas? Where is that on the map? In Africa. They're opening up a new mining development. Uranium. Well, what's the matter? Cannibals. That's pretty wild, isn't it? Three-year contract with a lot of money, and they pay all the expenses. But there's one thing, Dora, you'd have to live in the city, in Leopoldville. But I could get back to town two or three times a month and... Are you serious? That wouldn't be any good. Dora, will you let me finish, please? But I never get to see you. Sammy, I'm not going to the Belgian Congo. Why not? I thought you wanted to be independent. But Sammy... Suppose it was good for me. Suppose it'll do big things for my career. Sammy, I'm not going to start my married life in the Belgian Congo. You're not going to go and that's that, huh? Okay. It only proves one thing. If you love me, you'd go. You'd go anywhere if you really love me. Come on, Ma. Uncle David, get your coat. But, Sammy... We're going. Sammy. No, 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 wait a minute. Sammy, wait a minute. Sammy, what did you do? 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 Sammy, your father's temper, you don't have to have. Your father's heart you can have, not the temper. Family. Acting in haste is never a stitch in time. She wouldn't even let me finish, Ma. She said no before she'd heard the whole story. Emily, you'll be sorry for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm glad I found out. Emily, I can blame Dora. A newly bride, married, to leave all the funny things of her life, that's not easy. Look, Ma, she'd only let me finish. I wouldn't have gone to the Belgian Congo anyway. I turned it down. You couldn't go? You, you wouldn't go? Just a minute. Then go back and tell Dora. It's too late, Ma. Sammy. She doesn't love me enough to even consider going to the Belgian Congo. She doesn't love me. Samuel, take an advice from an old man. Explain it to Dora. Make up. Don't be a foolish boy. Sammy. Please, Uncle David. Sammy. Look, Ma, this is my decision and I've made it. That's hmm? well, about time. We we're beginning to worry. What is there to worry, Rosalie? You know how long it takes to come from New York. The phone has been ringing for an hour. Who was it? New York, person to person for Sammy. Oh, for Sammy? Well, what happened? Oh, I think it was something. What, Ma? Oh, well, Dora wouldn't go to the Congo. Who's going to the Congo? Nobody, but she wouldn't go. The talk sense, Molly. Please. Dora and Sammy quarreled. She wouldn't go to Africa. Africa? The engagement is broken. No wedding. Telephone, family. Hello? Yes, it is. All right, operator. Uh, long distance, no, family? That's what the operator said. Sammy? Oh, Sammy, I'm sorry. Oh, you're right, I had to tell you. Oh, I'll go anywhere you say, to the ends of the earth, and this time I mean it. Oh, I don't care where it is, so long as we're together. Darling. I was going to call you. I know. Well, it's just that you wouldn't let me tell you the whole story. No, I was stubborn, just as stubborn as you. Oh, Mother, please stop crying. We're not going to Africa. You're not? Well, then speak to Sammy about taking the job in New York. Mother, Sammy, tell Dora maybe the job in Haverville. Uh-huh. Well, it's our first fight, dear. I'll know better next time. Jake. Jake. 
Do you think Samuel maybe take the job and have a room? Ma, can I say a word? Don't say. You said already enough, please. Set the table. Dora and her mother will be here momentarily. The child wants to give a little advice. Advice can come from young or old. Sammy and Dora have a big enough adjustment to make without having to worry about parents, too. So what am I saying? I'm saying I hope maybe he'll change his mind and take the job in Haverville. The job in New York is also still open. All right, so I'm sure Dora's mother is hoping that he'll take the job in New York. Should a boy, should a boy give up two jobs just because he's... Ma, why don't you let Sammy and Dora decide that? You wise about most things. Why can't you understand this? Should a, joy, should a boy be without a job just because he's... You're not worried about that. You want to keep him right here in Haverville. Well, Ma, if he takes the job in New York, don't take it as a personal insult. All right, Professor. Please, Professor. Please. Oh, hello, oh, hello Carrie. Jay. How are you? Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? Where's Sammy and Dora? Oh, they're driving up in Jerome's car. Oh, hello, Dora. Yeah. Rosalie. How are you? Was it a nice day? Oh, nice. beautiful day. Yeah. Pretty you made the slow well, train here yeah. at this time of day. And Tell me, nothing. how is it the children didn't come with you? Oh, the kids had a decision to make. They needed a little time together to talk it over. Oh. Well, Carrie, what are we going to do? I'll just say one word to you ladies, and then I'll forever hold my peace. Don't interfere. On the walls in golden letters it should be written. I still say there are two sides to the coin, and a little advice well meant should not be dismissed lightly. A little advice almost led to Africa. Who knows where another way to lead? Molly. Molly, you're an intelligent woman. Do you think that a boy should live close to his mother? A mother but was also a mother. So why should a girl live close to her mother? It's not the same thing. We've been through all that, Carrie. It's up to the kids. Let's put an end to this. There they are. Molly, do I have to repeat myself? Carrie, remember. You don't have to talk to me as if I were a child, please. Hi. 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 Oh, well. It's a long drive, isn't it? It didn't seem very long. Well, of course, when you have a lot to talk about. No, we didn't do much talking, Ma. No? Uh, by what route did you come, Tamerly? 17 or 19? Uh, 19, Ma. Oh, then you saw the ranch houses, beautiful ranch houses. They're about, uh, I, I would say, about five miles from here. Not within walking distance. <laughs> I would hate to have to live in the country without two cars. No, then you get two cars. Two little ones instead of one big one. And you live above your means. You enjoy it. That's the American way, family. Uh, Molly, you were busy mm -hmm. all day making hors d'oeuvres. Where are they? Rosalie, bring in the hors d'oeuvres. Wait a minute, Rosalie. Before anything else, we might as well say what we have to say. By all means, it'll clear the atmosphere. If you've made a decision, let's hear what it is. Well, the job in Haverville looks pretty good, and so does the one in New York. But I have still another offer. Another, another offer? Not in yeah. India, I hope. No, Pa, in Oklahoma. In Oklahoma? Oh, yeah. Oklahoma. Yeah. 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 Well, I didn't. Well, Sammy, we want you to be happy. Ma, I'm sorry I acted the way I did. I don't mind having you. If no. Dora will be happy living in New York, we'll work it out. Sammy, so which job is it? In New York or Haverville? Well, Oklahoma by plane is exactly only four hours. Beautiful climate. How often can we fly there? When parents live far away, they become angels. And angels have wings, so you can fly anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.